Uh, a lumbar discectomy is probably the most common thing that I do. Uh, a lot of people say, well, do I have a slip disc or a ruptured disc or what is it? And you hear all these terms. And, and they're basically meaning kind of different things of the same entity. Uh, one's not worse than the other. If you look at the top left, you have this kind of purple structure, and that's the disc in a cross section called the annulus. In the middle of the white stuff is called the, the nucleus, and it looks just like crab meat. When you're doing the operation, you're taking it out, it, it looks like crab meat. <laughs> in the upper, uh, you, you see on, uh, which yeah. right here, is a little bit of a bulge, and so you call that a bulging disc. But you can also see that the nerve that's right here and here on each side, it's not really contacting it. But then you go to the next one, and it's bulging a little bit more, and it's pushing on that nerve. And I'd call that, again, a bulging disc. This is a probably a ruptured disc that has come out of the annulus. And then this, that's called a free fragment or a sequestered fragment. All of them can irritate the nerve and cause pain. Just because you have a ruptured disc doesn't mean you need surgery. But the symptoms of this would be back pain and pain going down the leg. And it's something I see every day in my practice. So the standard operation is called a microdiscectomy. You make a very small incision in the back. You drill away some of the bone that enables you to get down to the disc. You take some of the disc out, a little bit more, some more doesn't come out, and then you close it up. Um, people go home the same day. It's an outpatient procedure. Gearing it to this audience, people say, well, when can I play golf? <laughs> Generally, it's a three-month recovery before you can play golf. Most, most neurosurgeons and my therapists say it's minimum of three months. The reason being that you've got a hole in this annulus, and you've got disc that's come out, and so when you do the operation, you actually make an even bigger hole. And so that has to heal, and it's never going to be as strong as God once made it, so you don't want to stress that, particularly in the first three months. So what I would tell someone is, have the surgery three months, you know, start doing therapy, start working on some core stuff, and then get back into, you know, putting, short arms, and then work up to that. So it's, it's a significant recovery. And, and a lot of the recovery is you could probably play, but you're at risk if you really, really pushed on the wall. So this is obviously the, the, this, the other side of the spine now, but we use this uh, instrument called a rungeur to get the disc material out. So this is an example of a ruptured disc on an MRI scan. So you see the spine here, the spinal canal, and right here there's a fragment of disc. And on the other side there's a fragment of disc there. It's called a free fragment. And so the operation takes about 45 minutes. It's very simple.